want to let the process play out. Stop tape. Suddenly, the Democrats are talking about process when it was just, what, a couple of weeks ago that the Democrats seemed to not care about the process. And we know this is a fact. They don't care about the process. They care about their process. They don't care about what the framers of the Constitution, what the process uh, would want it to be. They care about the process that they rammed through Congress in 2019 as the rules of the impeachment inquiry, which resemble nothing of what the rules looked like in 1998, nothing of what the rules were going to look like in 1974. In fact, Nothing in what the rules looked like in 1868 and the previous impeachments of three sitting presidents. Of course, Nixon was never impeached, but the process was underway. The point is, here's this Zoe Lofgren suddenly talking about letting the process unfold. So what about the process in the Intel Committee? This woman sits on the Judiciary Committee with Jerry, right next to Jerry Nadler, as Jerry Nadler sits on his cushion. Uh, in the impeachment process in the Judiciary Committee. She's going to be right next to him, to his right. Um, what about the process that took place in the Intel Committee, I would ask Zoe? Uh, this behind-the-closed-door uh, taking of testimony and then cherry-picking which one of these behind-the-closed-door witnesses they would use in public to try and bolster the case for impeachment. But it didn't really work all that well, did it? Adam Schiff tried. Poor guy tried so hard to build a case for impeachment. But in the end, it came out that the president of the United States wanted nothing from Ukraine, wanted no quid pro quo. Yet the process began behind closed doors, away from the public, away from the American people, away from the mainstream media. And as I sit here today, I'm just astounded that we know the mainstream media is in the tank for the Democrat Party and wants to destroy the 45th president of the United States right along with the modern Democrat Party. Yes, we know that. But it's still astounding to me that the mainstream media did not scream at Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi and company for keeping them out of these hearings, for keeping the First Amendment behind closed doors, not allowing we the people, not allowing the press, to participate in a very, very solemn and rare occasion. That would be an impeachment of a sitting president of the United States. Where's the mainstream media on this? Where's the mainstream media on the process that Zoe is talking about here? Where have they been? Why have they been so quiet? Oh, yes. It's because they're in the tank for Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi and Jerry Nadler. Unfortunately, the mainstream media is nothing more than a bunch of cheerleaders for the modern Democrat Party as they try and degrade in order to destroy the 45th president of the United States and this electioneering that's going on, this attempt to fix the outcome of the 2020 presidential election, which is upcoming. That's what this is all about. Wants to degrade in order to destroy the 45th president and harm his chances for re-election and try and bolster and protect, of course, Joe Biden, because they all know that Joe Biden is the guy that's actually guilty of what they're accusing Donald Trump of. And that is forcing a government to fire a prosecutor in order to protect his family, i.e. Hunter Biden, and his deal with Burisma in Ukraine. That's what this is all about. And so process does matter, doesn't it? Process should matter. It matters because this republic is all about process, due process. But unfortunately, somebody like Zoe only cares about the process that they passed, the rules that they passed in 2019, which do not reflect the rules passed in 1998 and the impeachment process, which included due process, the impeachment process of William Jefferson Clinton. So yes, process matters. And the White House counsel is correct that this impeachment process is like no other in the history of this republic. It is lopsided, it is one-sided, it is corrupt, it's a sham, a political shiny object designed to confuse the American people into believing that Donald Trump is the problem, when in reality, the problem is themselves. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.